Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Now, what are we talking about today? This is a Let's Talk. Now, this is a Let's Talk that I'm doing right now for two reasons. First reason is, um, I am going to use mirrors. Who am I going to use mirrors on? I am going to use mirrors on, well, possibly I'm going to use mirrors on, um... Goofy. Now, the reason why I'm using mirrors on Goofy right now is because, as most of you know, and I actually, as a lot of you guys comment, um, you guys say, well, just use mirrors. Just use mirrors already. Get them leveled up. Get the Nova. I don't do that. The way that I do things is I have to save all these really close to max guilts. I need to save them for making a Nova video. Um, now this is going to be an exception though. This is going to be a very rare exception. The reason why I'm going to try, I'm, well, I'm going to try and get him to natural hundred. I've got two more. If it doesn't work, I'm going to put two mirrors on him. But the reason why we're going to do that is because of the title that is linked to this. Now, I don't know if a lot of you guys, I'm sure everyone read it, but I don't know if everyone remembers it. Now, this event goes away January 15th. I am doing it 10 days before now just because I don't want to forget. But if you guys read right here, it says, if you manage to reach 100 special attack bonus on Classic Goofy before January 16th, you will also receive an exclusive Royal Captain title. I want the title. That's why we're doing it right now. Okay. So let's go back. Um, let's roll him first. And then I need to apologize about something. All right, let's go here. Ninety-eight. Ninety. Okay, let's put some ears on him. Um, I could spend. Okay, I could spend a lot of time right now. Ooh, no farming more of them and trying over and over and over again till I finally get it maxed out. <sighs> the reason why I'm not going to do it is because there's a lot of other stuff I need to do. Um, that's why I'm doing it now. Okay, here we go. Wait, do we get the royal title right away or are we going to get it on the 16th? We might get it on the 16th. I don't think I'll get it right now. 442 is my new Nova level. Yeah, unless it's in my t unless it's in my titles automatically added. Oh, no. Nope, it's not there. Um so yeah, I mean that's done. So now I'm going to get the title. Okay. Now I need to apologize for what I said about Jafar and about Genie Jafar. For those of you who remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a video explaining why I wasn't going to use Genie Jafar. I used him. I used him a lot. Um, I still, I still wish and wish and wish that I had him guilted guys. Um, He's awesome. So basically how I've been using him is I've been using him along with Musketeer Goofy, which is another one that needs to get guilted eventually. Uh, but what I've done is this is how I've been using him like this. Uh, and I was using him a lot during the raid events. Now, this is not the most powerful setup for a raid event. It's not going to give you the most. But for me personally, I love it because of the cost and also even though he is not guilted, he does get a 3.2 multiplier on at 2.4 reverse metal, fully chipped with AB2 plus Lux plus. Believe it or not, guys, he hits harder than my 92% guilted Musketeer Goofy because Musketeer Goofy, even though he had, well, when it triggers, um, he's in the 1.9 slot. So Genie Jafar is amazing, guys. And if if I had him guilted, he would be a 200,000 
me uh, damage metal for one cost. And this is another thing I want to talk about. One cost metals. Uh, there's, uh, if you guys have been watching me for a long time, if you guys have been watching me for over 10 months, you guys, eight months, you guys know that way back when my first AOE one uh, cost metal was Leon B or Leon A, the magic one. Leon made me fall in love with all the AOE one costs. That is why if you go way back and watch my first videos, I encourage crazily for you guys to get um, uh, Titus, Waka, Titus, Waka, and um, Selfie. Quest single target AOE medals that carried me personally through so much of the game. If you have a Guilted Genie Jafar, that's awesome. Which also brings me to the next point that I'm going to talk about. I do have Guilted Jafar. And I believe that he is going to be amazing. So, um, right now in this video, I'm going to work on him. But I'm not going to put a skill on him yet. I am very tempted to put an AB2 plus Lux on him. Now, let me explain this a little bit more. So this is going to be a little bit of an explanation about, you know what, first of all, let's start. We're going to put Sid on him first. We're going to put Sid on him first, um, just so we can actually put him on my Keyblade. And I'll, I'll show you guys what I intend to do with Jafar. And yes, I just put seven Sids on him because you don't have to use 10. Um, we'll come back to that later, a different day. That's a, that's a different let's talk. That's a different let's talk about sits. So let's go to three wishes and okay. Yes, Hades does hit harder. I'm not denying that. He's at 7108 with a 2.17 uh, multiplier. You know what guys? I am not denying the fact that Hades does hit harder for AOE. But when you're really in the pickle, that one cost makes so much difference guys. And, and something i just realized i didn't realize that jafar had a higher strength wait wait jafar is gonna hit harder jafar is gonna hit harder 105 105 times i need um i need tempest here I, th I thought Jafar was going to lose in strength. Eight times four. Wow. He's actually going to hit a tiny bit harder because of his initial strength is higher. Wow. Okay. So he is definitely going to replace. He's replacing. He's replacing Hades. And this is the second thing I want to talk about. Um, so something that that. Wow. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. That just knocks me away. Okay. The second thing I want to talk about. AB2 plus Lux. Now, I, I, for if you guys have been watching for a while, I never used. Um, oh, yeah, he only hit. Yes, yes, sorry. In the fifth slot. In the fifth slot, he hits harder. If he's not in the fifth slot, then you, you, sh you should use Hades in some other slot. Um, Final Form Sora. Final Form Sora is actually, believe it or not, replacing my Musketeer Goofy. Now, yes, I do know that I have touted the benefits and greatness of Musketeer Goofy for a very long time. The reason why I use Musketeer Goofy over Final Form Sora is because I did not have a guilted Final Form Sora till very recently. Um, for the very longest time, my Final Form Sora was, was I, I didn't have him. Um, so that's why I initially fell in love with the Musketeers. 
incredibly hard power hitters. They can hit anywhere between 80,000 to 130,000, depending who they're going up against. And especially if you boost them like I boost them. Very, very powerful hitters. I really enjoy them. But Final Form Sora is going to hit a little harder. And what you're looking at right now is me changing my setups. I'm starting to create... I'm starting to create Lux farming setups. Now, I know that's something I haven't talked about before, and I've never really talked about in my chats or in my streams or even in my videos. Um, Lux setups require or have included Lux Plus in them or Lux Boost in them or whatever you want to call it. Lux Plus. Um, AB2 plus Lux Plus is very much a skill that you want to put on your metals when you are farming for Lux, farming against raid bosses. The difference that you're going to see in the amount of Lux that you're connect collecting is gigantic. Now, am I ready to go again and to do a um, uh, try and try and do a, a run for like the top places? No, not even close. Am I ever going to do it? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Uh, you guys are going to see in the clo in the not so distant future, I am going to go for a top rank in unicorns. And that means I'm going to be playing like crazy nonstop all day long farming Lux like crazy. Not yet. But this is the beginning of that, which leads me to the next point, Jafar. Now, Jafar could be a metal that I could put Poison Plus on. It could be a metal I put Sleep Plus on because he's guilty. He's going to hit very hard. He could be Sleep Plus for Colosseum. He's going to be in the last slot. And remember, we can't use metals from friends. He could be a metal that could have an AB2 plus APP. He only costs one. He's AOE. He would do really good with that if his APP triggered, if I wanted more APP. But he is a one cost. So my hitters are both one cost metals. If the APP triggers on these two metals over here, I'm not going to need APP on them. Yes, I only have APP on Jack and Sally. Yes, I am going to fully chip Sally. And I'm going to probably put an AB2 plus APP on Sally. And yes, I am probably going to put all of my other Jack and Sally's into this one with the hopes that one day I am going to be able to guilt them. Mickey and Mops. Mickey and Mops. It's Mickey and Mops. You got to come to the stream to understand what I'm talking about. Anyway. Jafar is going to get max guilted right now. Jafar is going to get... Uh, so boosting him... Oh, wait. I'm not going to put AB2 plus APP on him just yet. Uh, sorry, AB2 plus Lux on him. I'm not going to put it just yet. I want to hear what you guys want to say too. Um... So yeah, do me a favor and definitely leave me left, leave me a comment because I'm still learning, guys. This, this is this is a new introduction for me into the world of Lux grinding. The reason why I like putting the AB2 plus Lux pluses on the one cost is because then I don't need to be restoring APP so SP so much. I love not having to restore SP, guys. I love not having to restore SP, but do you guys think Jafar would be better with an AB2 max? Do you guys think think Jafar would be better with uh, one of the plus skills? Do you guys think that Jafar would be better with, um, I don't know, defense? Defense 3? No, I, I don't think a defense 3. I don't think a defense 3, which also makes me makes me also ask the question, who should I put AB, uh, defense boost 3 on? I don't know. That's a good question. And that's the one that I would really, really, really like you guys to help me answer. Uh, because I don't know who to put... Um, I don't know who to put that on. I have no idea. I know that I should. Just because we do have high score challenges and coliseums that are coming up. Um, I need to know. But anyway, that's where we're going to leave it, guys. Um, does this have... Yeah, he has. He's got full defense. He's got full defense. He's got full defense. Yeah. So... There you go, Jafar, guys. Jafar, can you believe it? Jafar is actually going to hit harder than Hades. He's actually going to outweigh Hades a little bit. Now, I do need to decide, though. I think I'm going to put an AB2 plus Lux plus on him. 
I think I'm going to share him also, or I'm going to use him. And I think that my rating is going to go through the roof if I am running um, him with AB2 plus Lux, Final Form Sora with AB2 plus Lux, and also running uh, someone else's, like a friend medal with AB2 plus Lux, which by the way, I do also have it on my, on my Demix. Um, which I could put Demix in here if I really, really, really wanted to just really go crazy farming. But I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Again, this has been this has been kind of a let's talk kind of classroom. It's not really a classroom setting though because I am very much still learning this. I can I am not even going to begin to say that I know I know how to lux grind because I don't. I don't know how to lux climb. I am still trying to learn this, but I have known that most people who do the lux climb definitely run those AB2 plus lux pluses because it makes a gigantic difference in the collection. And I got to tell you guys, I am I am shocked at Jafar. Jafar has shocked me, guys. I am definitely shocked at Jafar. Thank you very much, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. That's my new, that's one that's going to be my new uh, AOE setup. I'm very happy I have Jafar. See you guys next time. See ya.